Finally, a simple round logo design in Photoshop. So hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me on Facebook at Retard Pro. And don't be scared, there's a ton of other users that also find us on Facebook. So just come over, like the page and interact with us. We're always open to new comments, new messages and whatever you want to send us. Anyways guys, today I'm going to show you guys a super simple logo. We're going to work with two or three different fonts, some shapes and also round it up in a circle. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so in Photoshop, we're going to start right away out with the background and also the design. I don't want to talk too long about the background. It's super simple. And also if you want, you can find this down below. Again, in the description, you can find a link to the Tronix Design Media Package where you can download this particular image and also use it for your background. So today's background will be just a bit brighter. So my first layer is just a white layer. On top of that, again, the background, which I also take down with the opacity, something around 50, 40. This also depends on to your style and what you want to create. Okay, then on top of that, just again, another, um, satura uh, another selective color adjustment layer, as you guys can see in the neutral tones again, just to warm this image up a little bit. Let me show this actually before and after. So this is the before and after. It's quite uh, saturated, so quite a lot, but it's like cyan minus 42, magenta plus 4, yellow plus 11, and blacks plus 3. So this is also because I'm taking down the opacity, that's why it's that strong, otherwise I would make it a bit lighter. Great, so that's all about the background, super simple and super quick. Again, remember you can download this for free, uh, just follow the link down below in the description. Then let's start right away out with the design. Again, take a bit more time when you guys do this design. I'm going to rush quite quickly through it and show you guys how to do this. So mine will not be 100% accurate. Okay, I'm going to start right away out with a little secret shortcut here that I use. First of all, I want to round in um, my text here and also the top as well. But for that, I use a little secret, little shortcut. Actually, I'm not trying to uh, create a nice round path and then trying to type on the path. It's just too complicated if you want to make it for a circle. So what I'll start out now with is just an elliptical marking tool. And say, for instance, if I have nothing over here, I'm first of all just going to make with the elliptical marking tool just a rough selection like so. Or we can actually start with an empty new layer over here. Then take the elliptical tool and just make a selection like so. And this will be like the round area where I want to add my text. So say, for instance, the designer text over here. If I'm just with the marking tool moving this over so you guys can see already that I can have a nice round shape here to make my text a bit rounder. Great. So let's quickly do this. I'm going to hit right click, say fill over here, make work path. You can also say that. Zero tolerance. Okay, let's show that. And you can type on that as well. So while you have the selection, hit right click and say make work path. And you can right away work on top of that. So again, take the text tool and we're going to start right away out over here. So remember, you need to take the top, otherwise it's not going to work with the typing. Okay, let's also take this all the way up to the top and select here. The text tool hover over the path so you get to the icon, select it. And I'm going to write now designer. Okay, that needs to be a bit smaller. Okay, and you guys can see it went all the way around. First of all, let's just work with our font, which is Lobster today, Lobster 1.4. Again, if you're not sure about this, have a look, it's down below in the description I've added for you. Uh, the font will be 62, yes, but the tracking should be something completely different. Also like something like minus 60. Let's go with that, I'm gonna accept it. And first of all, I'm gonna turn off our designer box over here. Okay, now I'm going to go right in front of it, hit spacing once, and I think it's almost in the center. Let's have a look here with our first design. Yep, almost there. I'm going to go back again one more and just accept it. I can actually take the move tool and to just move that into the center a little bit. Okay, so I've moved this a bit into the center. Next, uh, I want to go to view, new guide, and I want to say horizontally. Let's start with the vertical, 50%. Sorry guys, for you who see this every week, but if you are completely new, this is how you create guidelines. And also, if you don't understand how to do this, have a look on the channel. There's a playlist called 101 for Photoshop Beginners, and you can learn all about the beginner stuff. Okay, I want to hide this little path over here. So I'm going to press Command, Shift, H. Command, Shift, and H, hide the path. 
Okay, next step that I want to do is pretty much the same. I want to go and go to the elliptical marking tool and just create a nice round big ball over here. This time I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard so it's equally expanding as you guys can see currently. Make this a bit bigger and something like so. Great, and I'm just going to move this a bit over and now I'm going to use a bit of a different technique because if I use this technique like right click and say make a path, I can either type at the top but I can't type on the inside. So my technique with this is create a new layer, hit right click inside of it, hit fill and you can just fill it up with any color that you like. I will go with black for now, okay, accept it, command D, get out of the selection. Then I'm going to take the move tool and just drag from the rulers here a little guide down somewhere over here and I'll do the same for the bottom also somewhere over here. Remember I'm doing this quite quickly and rough take a bit more time when you guys do this. Let's also take our ball here it's not in the center so I'm going to press command T on our circle here and just move this into the center. Okay accept it. Now it's just so that it's a bit easier for our paths. Again on the top I'm going to go and select the pen tool over here, put an anchor point here and an anchor point over here. Keep on holding with the pen tool and keep on dragging so it's nice and round until we reach our end of the border here, until the path reaches the border. Also, if you're not familiar with the pen tool, please have a look on the channel. There's a cool tutorial teaching you how to work with the pen tool all in and outs. Great. Now I'm going to turn off layer 5 and you guys can see that I have a round shape here. Great, so now I'm going to take the text tool, click right away on top of here, and I can type again. So this will be now the slogan or something that I want to create into the logo. I'm going to write it all in big capital letters, so it's going to be the best. Um, let's actually try that again. The best design, okay, so the best design studio something um, will be at the bottom. For this, I'm also going to work again with... Helvetica Neue. You guys can also find that in the description down below. Here we go, Helvetica Neue. And first of all, I'm going to switch this to light and also take the tracking and the font size down. This should be maybe like 10 or so. Yeah, that's good. Now just the tracking, I need to work that a bit. Here in the character box on the right hand side, I'm going to push the tracking up to something like 300. Let's have a look here. Yeah, 380, let's try it a bit more, 380, there we go. So that these two almost end on the same side. I'm just going to make another space here in the front and happy with this so far. Okay, also I'm going to move this a little bit over so it will later be in the center pretty much. We can also make the design a bit smaller, whatever you want to. You can also make the round ball a bit steeper so that this looks a bit nicer. Great, let's go back and go to this side over here. So we're going to turn on our circle again, the ball, and just do the same for the bottom. So again, pen tool here, select, put an anchor point over here. Next anchor point over here, keep on holding and make a nice round path and just continue with this side. Right, and stop right over there. Now we can turn off this and now the trick comes in text tool again and you go this side not on the other side so on the inside so you can type on and type the rest so this will be now I don't know studio in town so it says then best the best designs do, do you in town very cheesy but yeah there we go with it <laughs> okay accept it and now also I can move this again into the center also if I want select with the text tool spaces here and try to put that just into the center. You can also press command T if you want, if you want to rotate this just a bit better if you're struggling with the text. Yeah, then play a little bit with this so that it suits actually the top. I'm going to work that in a moment. Okay, next step that I want to do is obviously work a little bit here just with a, another ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to go to view, clear the guides and I'm going to go to the shape library. So again, custom shape tool over here and back into the shape library. And yes, as you currently see, I've got a ton of shapes. Don't forget, you can download them also for free. Again, in the bottom of the description is a link where you can download the Tronics Design Media Package. So hold shift. I'm going to select it actually this ribbon over here. Let's have a look. It's called Banner 5. Okay, and I'm just going to hold shift on the keyboard. So it's equally expanding. Make it nice and big. And going to on a new layer here, just move it somewhere over here. Okay, and you can double click onto that shape library, double click on there, 
and you can just select the same color as we have over here. I didn't even talk about the color. Let's actually go back to the color. It was it like a dark gray or something. I think dark gray just suits this image a bit more. The same goes with the best design and the studio in town text, so also in that shape. Let's move that up a little bit, the designer. Great, I can see that the best design and studio in town are not equal yet. I'm not gonna change it, but you can do so. Take a bit more time when you do this. Try to get them nice and round so they just look a bit better. Okay, last step that I still want to do now is obviously write the text in here. I showed this in the last two tutorials, but I'm gonna show this again today. So basically select the pen tool, just put an anchor point over here, one over here, keep on holding, make a nice round path. Then again, select your text tool inside until you see that little icon, click on it. And again, I'm gonna write now company, company, <laughs> but it could be something completely different if you want. I'm gonna select white, okay, accept it, because I can't see it currently, and I'm just gonna move it on top of my shape. And let's select the right font for this. It's also healthy to annoy, I'm gonna stick with that. Maybe just like make it a bit bigger, 12. Okay, 12 pixels. Okay, and also my tracking, I'm gonna change that up. So it just fills, airing up 560, happy with that. Okay, with the move tool, move it over a little bit, and also left and right, I'm gonna press Command T. I'm working with a Mac, so if you're a Windows person, please press Control when I say Command. So for me, it's Command T now, and I'm literally just rotating this a little bit. Okay, like so. Hide this again, Command Shift H, hiding the path line there. Maybe I'm gonna switch this back again, and just with the cursors over again. So you can either keep it like that, or again, what I would do is, first of all, shape li uh, lay here, rasterize this like I showed also in the last tutorials, go back to the company one. So first of all, your shape two lay here, the banner, you must uh, rasterize that layer, not a smart object. Then go to company layer, hit right click, say create work path, zoom in there. Oh, you can't see my path right now because I've hidden it again, so command shift H. Now you will see it a little bit maybe if I zoom in out. Anyways, we're going to select the pen tool, right click inside of that selection or that path and say make a selection, zero feathering. We can turn off the company layer, you will still see the selection. And on shape two, hit delete, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then command D, get out of the selection and zoom out a little bit. And now the background is shining through again. So say for instance, if we have something over here uh, fill, I'm going to just fill it up quickly with like 50% gray. You will see that this is also gray behind it. So great. Now the background shines through. Again, delete. I'm going to take design. Uh, this layer 5, you can also delete it. The ball, we don't need that anymore. And again, I'm going to take all my other layers, Command G, and put that together in a group, Design 2. There we go. So again, this was my design, and then also the second design, just a bit quicker. But do take a bit more time when you do this and do practice this a little bit. Okay, yeah, so as you guys can see, it's not too hard to design this. Super simple with just a few fonts and some shapes. And yes, if you haven't yet, download our shape folder. Down below in the description is a link where you can go to our website and for free, download my Tronics Design Media Package that holds again shapes, backgrounds, brushes, and some fonts that I'm allowed to share. So yeah, check it out. And you know what? Do send me some of your designs I don't know, on Facebook, personal message us, or by email, whatever you like. And I would like to know from you in the comments what you think about this simple design. So thanks again guys for watching. Hit me up with a thumbs up if you like the content and don't forget to share and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Thanks guys, bye bye. Wait, 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 wait. You want to see some more tutorials, right? Yeah, it's super simple. Just click here on your right hand side. We've listed some popular tutorials for you and some we that we think are pretty cool. Anyways guys, click right away if you want to see some more tutorials and if you haven't subscribed yet, down below is a subscribe button. Just click that, then we will keep you updated with all latest tutorials. Thanks again guys for watching. I will catch you in the next tutorial.